So what this leads me to think is what else are they thinking? What are they going to do? Because they won't stop here. This is just the first stage of total action against the site. Our immediate worry was that though we'd been told we were completely within our rights to turn the barn into a restaurant, we were obliged to inform the council, which would give them the opportunity to try and stop us. Detail of how we get there. And so get Charlie and I agreed the best tactic was speed. So what we will do is send an email notifying the council of our plans. We will then need to go hell for leather to get the restaurant built, fitted, and serving food within two days. Our hope is that by the time the email notification has got through the chain of command at the council, we'll be up and running, serving food, before the council have got time to object. With the plan sorted out, You've got three pillars. Yes. The kitchen takes up the first. Floor. I sat down with Alan to go through the building work. What do you recommend well, you... for flooring here? Yeah, well, it could level it out, put a bit of hardcore down, put some pallets down, put some inch marine ply on the top. Well, yeah, keep it rustic. We get a lovely finish there. And then this is going to be turfed. Yep. What I'd like to do is between each of these pillars on the yep. front, yep. security, chain link, you know, yes. things yep. that you pull down, padlock them, and it becomes a secure unit. Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to need is a hatch here through to the Lisa's VIP dining room. How many people are we getting in there? How, what you, well, they reckon four. Not four reckon. of me and you, that's for sure. No, well, that... <laughs> Fuck you now. I know. That door opens inwards at the moment. We're going to have to turn that round, because if that opens yeah. inwards, it knocks the fucking table over. That's true. That'll have a new roof on it. This have a and new a roof. And a window. Are you going to put glass in this? No, shutters, wood. Oh, OK. What are we going to do, actually, with the wall inside? See, a lot of people just paint it with lime wash. That kills everything. It'll leave the natural stone there, yeah, exactly. give it a good, clean finish. On top of this already lengthy job list, Alan would also have to install and plumb in the kitchen. So I was not looking forward to giving him the timetable. Now, the big problem we've got is that we're going to tell the council that this is happening. We then need to have it fully operational in... Yeah, go on. Two days. <laughs> Fucking hell. I know. You remember Challenge Annika? Yeah. It'd be a bit like Challenge Annika, because yeah. as soon as we tell them, before they have a chance to come around and say, that's not viable, you can't do it, we have to say, it is viable, look, we've done it. Yeah, 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 got you. So for the next 10 days, I want that site to be dead quiet. Nothing. Nothing doing. And then as soon as we send the email, we go. We needed 10 days before sending the email so Alan could round up a workforce and find all the materials. I also needed some time to get some pressing farming jobs out of the way. Like helping Victor, our Ukrainian bee man, build some new hives close to the pollen-rich Echium. Ukraine, family OK? Yeah, they're OK. Yeah, they're OK. They're alive, that's amazing. Rockets flying around, but they toughy. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed, eh? Yeah. OK. Don't sting me. Don't sting me. So they'll have to do a waggle dance here, won't they? Well, they do waggle dance and they have source of nectar. Exactly. So when the echium grows, what will happen is one of the bees that finds it will come back and do this really complicated little dance outside the hive. Yeah. And then that shows the others how far away the Echium is and in what direction. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Gee, look at that. It's dripping with honey. Dripping, yeah. Nice. How stunning, isn't it? They are, God, they're good animals, creatures, yeah. beasts. Then there was the annual inspection needed to renew my red tractor certificate. I assume we've had a bit of a spillage. He's going to want a sweeper. A quality kite mark which requires a farm to be clean and well run. Right, if we can just close the door up to make sure it seals up, that would be great. Oh, Thank sure. You. Oops, sorry, pushed the wrong button. I really have pushed the 